I'm joined now by someone who knows exactly where we're coming from, Gunter Ziegler, one of Yulia's professors and the president of the German Mathematical Society. He's already been a guest on the show a couple of times in this year of mathematics. Thanks for joining us again. A pleasure. Now, first of all, we've got the great granddaddy of, of computers here. This is an abacus. Can you tell us a little bit about the principle behind it? Well, of course, I don't have any practice in working with this, but this is singletons, one, two, three, four, five, and these mean fives, and two fives makes a ten, which would be one in the next row. So basically, it's very close to how we compute and how we calculate in everyday life. Now, let's get back to Yulia Ruscher here. There are a few similarities between the two of you. Um, you both finished university quickly, won prizes, offered jobs at a very young age. But you are also, I understand, a big fan of literature. Is it really important for mathematicians to have other hobbies? I think mathematics is close to life, and it's connected to many things. But of course, you don't want to just study one subject like mathematics. And you have to concentrate on it a lot, but you don't want to do this one thing only in your life. And so I think the mathematicians I know have many interests and many hobbies. Many of them are good in music. Um, many of them read, some of them write. It's all part of mathematics, and it connects to mathematics. Yeah, music also, uh, of course, having a lot to do with, with mathematics. What I was wondering, though, is whether or not there are a lot of women. Math is traditionally considered kind of a boy's science. Are there a lot of women in your department, or is Yulia just an exception? I think we have two women on the faculty in the department, but we have 50% women in the students and in the beginners. And I think the stereotype is breaking and is changing, and we are working on that. And math is a women's science as much as it's a men's science, and we need them all. I mean, math is an important subject, and if we somehow exclude half of the people from doing it, then we lose a lot. Right. Now, it, it is, though, pretty hard to make math riveting for students in the way that, that maybe some other subjects can be. A lot of people find math classes boring or just difficult to understand. How can we make math really attractive to young people? I mean, math is difficult, and that's one of the truths that we just have to confront. On the other hand, math is many different things. And so if we explain math, when we present math, we have to show that. And math is not only calculating uh, with larger and larger numbers, but math is the science of structures, it's the science of patterns, there's geometry, it connects to art, all of this is math. And when we teach math, we have to teach these connections and we have to show these connections, we have to connect to history, we have to connect to everything that is math. All right, Gunter Ziegler, we'll be back with you in just a moment. But 